All right, so I want to make sure you get enough examples of the method of undetermined coefficients. So I'm going to do an example of every type. Um, so here's one uh, where the right-hand side is a polynomial. Um, and remember, in general, we're going to look for the general solution to the homogeneous, the corresponding homogeneous differential equation. And that differential equation is y double prime minus 6y prime plus 9y equals 0. And we've solved this before, but I'll just do it again. Uh, we write down the characteristic equation. We factor it. We realize that there's a double root. And uh, we did a bunch of work the first time, but remember, uh, we can just write down the general solution. So we're going to usually we put um, the root in the exponent. So the root is 3, and we would have the same root uh, in the other exponent, but that's not going to introduce anything new. So we put a t in front of one of them, and then they both have constants. So we'll call them c1 and c2. So this is the uh, general solution to the homogeneous equation. And now we need uh, one solution to the non-homogeneous equation. We'll call this a particular solution sometimes. Um, and we're going to guess something. So uh, our instructions, which we talked briefly about last time, we said exponentials go to the same exponential, sine and cosine go to some combination of sine and cosine. Polynomials are going to go to the most general polynomial of the same degree. So this is degree 2. It's a quadratic. So I'm going to guess a general quadratic. So um, at squared plus bt plus c the most general degree 2 polynomial. And then uh, I'm going to plug it in, and I'm actually going to be able to solve for all of a, b, and c, even though I only have one equation, because um, we'll see what happens. We'll be able to compare three coefficients. So uh, let's take some derivatives so we can plug it in. So y prime is 2at plus b. y double prime is 2a. And then plugging that all into there, we get, uh, let's just write this down, y double prime minus 6y prime plus 9y. What does that give us? That's um, 2a minus 6 times this thing. So minus 12at minus 6b plus 9 times this thing. And I'm expanding as I go because this is a lot of writing either way. So I'm just trying to make it a little bit less writing. This is fine. This is an OK amount of work to show. And then this is supposed to equal the right side, t squared. OK, how is all this going to equal t squared? They must be the exact same polynomial, because it must be equal for all values of t. Uh, so let's just write it a little bit nicer. We have 9a t squared. What are the t terms? We have minus 12at plus 9bt. OK, so I'm just going to write plus negative 12a plus 9b times t, that's the t coefficient, and then the constant. We have the rest, 2a minus 6b plus c. That's everything that's not underlined so far. That's a minus. OK, equals t squared. And it really, it's 1t squared plus 0t plus 0, right? So the t squared coefficient has to be 1. The t coefficient has to be 0. I'm going to write the 0 on the left. If I leave a negative sign out in front, I might leave it out on a subsequent line. And then the constant coefficient also has to be 0. 2a minus 6b plus c equals 0. OK, those are my three equations. This one's easy. The first one, I can just solve for a. So equation 1, I get a equals 1 ninth. This might be kind of ugly. Uh, let's put that into equation 2. So 0 equals negative 12 times 1 ninth is negative 4 thirds plus 9b. So 9b equals positive 4 thirds. b is 4 27ths. All right. And then I'm going to look at equation 3 to get c. So 2 ninths minus 6 times 4 27 So the 3 will cancel out with one of the 3's and the 27. So I'm going to get 8 ninths, actually plus c equals 0. Um, OK, so that means c minus 6 ninths or minus 2 thirds equals 0. c is 2 thirds. I'm trying to do a little bit of arithmetic in um, like a couple extra arithmetic, uh, arithmetic 
calculations in one step so that I have less writing. Um, okay, so my solution then, go back to here. So the solution is y equals 1 9th t squared plus 4 27th t plus 2 thirds. I've guaranteed that this is going to satisfy the differential equation. And then uh, the theory of the method says that my general solution to the non-homogeneous differential equation is going to be uh, the general solution to the homogeneous equation plus any one solution to the non-homogeneous one. So uh, general solution to non-homogeneous. I'm going to take uh, what I wrote up here, so this exponential stuff, c1 e to the 3t plus c2 t e to the 3t plus, and then this particular solution, 1 9th t squared plus 4 27th t plus 2 thirds. I can put any constants in I want for c1 and c2. This will all solve this differential equation. Could not have guessed that to start out with. So that's the use of this method.